Hey guys, it's Ned from Winset Farms. I'm gonna make an absolutely killer burger today. Bunch of different things are gonna go into this burger. A roasted pepper mayo, we've taken some Campari tomatoes and oven roasted them really slowly which intensifies the sweetness. But we're gonna make one of my specialties which is a dry rub. Now, the great thing about this dry rub is it can go on anything. Fish, grilled salmon, steaks, we're gonna put it on our burger. But all we've done is strung these peppers out. I used a dehydrator with these peppers, but all you have to do is string them out, let them dry, and you can use these dehydrated peppers all year long. But we're gonna make our dry rub. Equal parts orange pepper, equal parts yellow maestro pepper, red maestro pepper, some smoked garlic, and some garlic salt, just like that. Some black pepper cracked into our mortar and pestle. Now, you could use a coffee grinder, they're not that expensive, and just make your own dry rubs all the time. Or if you have the mortar and pestle, just bash it up, just like so. Of course, if you wanted to make this rub spicy, you could take some of our gusto peppers, dry them, add them right into your dry rub, just like that. And we're going to aggressively season our burger on both sides. That is perfect. Now, I've taken a maestro pepper, roasted it, it intensifies the sweetness. We've taken the skins off, taken the seeds out, and then all we have left is this nice pepper. We're going to add it into our Cuisinart, just like that. Equal parts mayonnaise to our roasted pepper, puree that up, and look at that color. So for my roasted tomatoes, I use Camparis. Now, you can pick them up on the vine like this. One of the great things about these is their uniform size. You know, if you can't get the Camparis, you can get our Allegros, but when you cut them in half, they look the same every time, which means they'll roast perfectly the same every time. Little bit of salt and pepper, 250 degree oven. Fire them in overnight for about six hours. They are easy to make. We're gonna garnish the burger with some applewood cheddar, smoked cheddar, little bit of smoked garlic. So now we're carrying that through into the smoked cheddar. Could use regular cheddar if you want but I love the flavor of the smoked cheddar. It's absolutely perfect on this burger. So, to build it up, we take some of our mayo, just like that. And with grilling season coming up now, you could make lamb burgers, you could make bison burgers, you could make turkey burgers. But I like lots of this maestro roasted red pepper mayonnaise. Couple of tomatoes on every bun. Oh yeah. Some pickled onions on the bottom. Really simple pickled red onions. All you gotta do is bring to a boil red wine vinegar, salt and sugar. Take our burgers. And I don't think I can wait for the rest of them. I've also gone ahead and made a very quick little pickle. Now, I just made these last night. So these are some of our mini fresco cucumbers. A little bit of avocado. And look at that. That is a killer burger. We're made with our maestro red pepper mayo, our roasted Campari tomatoes. Awesome.